Hi everyone, welcome back to a new post today and today let's look at day 2 of the preliminary uh, questions for the for, for UPSC uh, prelims examination of 2025. So let's have a quick review of the most important issues that made news on May 21st, that's day 2. So the very first is about uh, floods in Brazil. So there are floods going on in Brazil and uh, I wanted to remind you of the rivers of uh, South America. So take some time out and look at the map of South America, identify the uh, physical features along with rivers. So these are the, uh, such qu the, these are the points that usually UPSC tries to touch upon. So let's have a quick review of the rivers of South America. They are Magdalena, Orinoco, uh, Napo, Maranon, Amazon, Chapura, Negro, Apuris, Madeira. In Brazil, you have the Amazon, the Tapajos River, uh, the Araguira, uh, Araguia, I'm sorry, and uh, the Tocantinus River, along with San Francisco, which is flooding. You have the uh, the Uruguay, Parana, and uh, you have the Colorado River, along with the southernmost called as the Chico River. So try to identify the various straits, try to identify the various physical features of South America, and you're good to go. And apart from that, we have the ICC, that is the International Criminal Court, now seeking arrest warrant for the Hamas leader. Leader Sinwar and also Israeli uh, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu uh, on charges of war crimes and crimes against humanity that was conduct, uh, committed on October 7th, uh, attacks on Israel and the subsequent war in Gaza as well. Now, Israeli, Israel and the United States are not the members of the International Criminal Court. However, the ICC claims to have jurisdiction over Gaza, East Jerusalem and West Bank after Palestinian leaders formally agreed to be bound by the courts founding principles in 2015 the icc let me tell you is separate from uh, uh, is separate from the international court of justice over the uh, that uh, over, uh, the ac accusations made by icc are uh, are separate from the international court of justice also there is a difference between icc and icj uh, ap apart from icc who is looking into arrest warrants for uh, netanyahu and the hamas leader the icj is also looking into cases against israel which was filed by south america and south uh, i'm sorry south africa south africa has accused israel of committing a genocide in its war against Hamas following the October 7 attacks of Hamas over the Israel. Uh, while the ICJ, that is the International Court of Justice, con uh, considers cases which involves countries and nations, ICC is a criminal court which brings cases against individuals for war crimes or crimes against humanity. And it is located in Hague in Netherlands. And it was established by a treaty called as the Rome Statute, first brought before the United Nations. The ICC operates independently. Now, most of the countries, that is 124 of them, are party to the treaty, but there are no, uh, notable exceptions like the Israel and the United States. Now, apart from that, this means that if the court grants, grants, uh, uh, the, uh, grants the arrest warrants, uh, warrant for Reta Nyahu and the Hamas leader, uh, any of the countries uh, related to the ICJ will have to uh, uh, arrest them and extradite them to Hague. So under the rules of the court, all the signatories of the Rome Statute have the obligation to fully, uh, to cooperate fully with its decisions and this would make it very difficult for Netanyahu and also the Hamas leader to travel internationally, including many countries who are Israel's allies as well like Germany and United Kingdom. And postal ballot was in use because we are into the 18th, uh, the elections for the 18th Lok Sabha. Now, the persons who are entitled to vote by postal ballot according to the election rules in India are the following that is, a special voter, service voters, voters on election duty, and also electors who are subjected to uh, prevention detention. So, they, uh, these are these are under the election conduct of election rules 1961, and the time period for dispatching the postal ballots to uh, of the service electors is 48 hours. Uh, now, the other documents that should be sent with the postal ballot are the form 13A, a cover in the form 13B, a large cover address to the returning officer in the form 13C, and instructions for the guidelines of electors in the form 13D as well. And let me tell you that the color of the postal ballots in legislative assembly elections is pink. 
So the other most important issue is with regard to chirpine. Now this uh, tree has been in news because it is one of the causes of your forest fires that are occurring in Uttarakhand and the uh, Indian Air Force carried out an operation called as Bambi Bucket. Now it, uh, India is one of the 12 mega biodiverse centers consist, uh, which consist of 45,000 plant species and pinus is one of the most important genies, uh, genus of the family of panacea and uh, which is in turn the largest uh, uh, forest of coniferous so we know that we find the coniferous plants above 2500 uh, meters of altitude especially in the Himalayan region and they are found all, all, all along uh, the hill ranges uh, where uh, you have uh, the altitudes exceeds 2500 and mostly found in the Himalayas and also in the northeast as well. Now uh, in India we, five, we find five different species of pines, the chur pine, the blue pine, the kasi pine, the chiz, uh, chilgoza pine and also the, uh, the teria syrian pine which is found all along the Himalayas. So these pines are mostly found in the Himalayas, the Uttarakhand, Himachal Pradesh up to Sikkim and also in the northeast up to even up to Burma as well. So northeast sea and oil gas has been in news now let me tell you that fine major one of the type of uh, petroleum crude that is supplied all to all countries of the world is north uh, sea oil. Now it is produced in the uh, in the in the north sea that is uh, uh, very close to the northern Baltic countries. So the fine major north sea oil please take a look at the map with this north sea uh, the, the five most important major oil uh, North Sea oil and gas producing countries are United Kingdom, Norway, Netherlands, Germany and Denmark. Now North Sea is a mixture of hydrocarbons comprising liquid petroleum and also natural gas produced from petroleum reserves beneath the North Sea. The petroleum industry, the term in petroleum industry, the term North Sea uh, includes Norwegian Sea and also the area known as the west of the Shetland Atlantic frontier and also the Atlantic margin that is not geographically part of North Sea. Brent crude, uh, crude is still used today as a standard benchmark for pricing of oil uh, so uh, this is what uh, this is about the North Sea the major oil supplies at number six is Saudi Arabia stands at one major exporters of oil is uh, next comes Russia Canada United States Iraq UAE Kuwait Norway Nigeria Kazakhstan and recently Iran's president Riyasi was uh, died in uh, in, a, in a plane crash so let's look at the uh, political system have a brief idea about the political system of Iran because recently India has also signed the long-term agreement with regard to the Chabahar port with Iran. So like many uh, uh, demo Western democracies, uh, Iran also has a president and the parliament which is called as the Majlis. Now unlike other Western and Islamic country, uh, governments, the government of Islamic Republic of Iran is supervised by a supreme leader and an un uh, and, uh, an appointed and unelected guardian council which is made up of Islamic jurists. Now the supreme leader is the head of the state like how president is the head of the state in India and he stands above the president and he has direct uh, or indirect control of the executive legislature and other judicial and other branches of the government as well including the military and the media now Iran's president a parliament this is called as a majlis and an assembly of experts which elects the supreme leader and the local councils are all elected but the candidates who run up to these positions must be vetted by a council called as a guardian council which disqualifies an overwhelming majority of the candidates for their loyalty to the Islamic Republic system of government. The next most important issue is with regard to Shenka Sain. Now this has been in news because it is a type of train that is going to be used uh, with regard to the bullet train, high speed bullet train project in India from Mumbai to Ahmedabad. Almost, uh, almost a 508 kilometer route from Mumbai to Ahmedabad which will be just covered in 2 hours 58 minutes and at the speed of 320 kilometers per hour. So this uh, project is being uh, developed by India and Japan along with Jika that is the Japan, J Japanese uh, organization which is providing the investment. Now two companies Kawasaki and Hitachi companies are providing the Shinkansen train set which will have 10 coaches and accommodate 690 passengers. Now the National High Speed Rate Cooperation will procure 18 bullet trains for uh, the Mumbai Ahmedabad High Speed Bullet Train project and it will run at a speed of 320 kilometers per hour. Currently the highest speed train is achieved by Gatiman has Express, Vande Bharat Express and also the Rapidex series which I which uh, have a peak operational speed uh, speed of 160 kilometers per hour 
And the next most important issue is with regard to ethylene oxide contamination. Now, this has been in news because the uh, consignment of masala or spices have been sent back by Singapore and Hong Kong to the high presence of ethylene oxide uh, residue in certain sp uh, spices. And after the reports of the high residue of ethylene oxide uh, about in the batch of Indian spices, the government therefore reviewed the situation and is again looking forward it in uh, looking forward to test all the consignments before they are sent there. Now, ethylene oxide is a cancer-causing chemical whose traces have led to the ban in uh, use of products, especially in Hong Kong and Singapore. And also, uh, it is a, color, a colorless gas which is used as a pesticide and as, uh, as a, a sterilizing agent. Uh, though the chemical was originally intended uh, to sterilize medical devices. Now, exposure to ethylene oxide causes uh, lymphoma and leukemia types of cancers. Uh, ethylene oxide is used as a sterilizer in order to keep a curb on the microbial load and it disrupts, uh, disrupts the reproductive uh, processes of the microorganisms that preventing, uh, thus preventing the food from getting spoiled or contaminated. Chemical preservatives that are used commonly in food include uh, sodium uh, benzoate, uh, benzoic acid nitrates, sulfide sodium sorbate and potassium sorbate as well. And the last issue is agriculture is a state subject. Yesterday, the government was thinking of bringing about a law for interstate trade in agriculture produce. Uh, but there were questions raised that how can the center bring about a law when agriculture is a state subject. Let me tell you there are few instances in which uh, where the center can make a law on a state subject. One being if the uh, Rajya Sabha passes a resolution by a special majority and if the, there is an emergency like situation uh, when an emergency has been declared. And apart from that when two or more states pass a resolution that it is urgent and important for the parliament to make a law on the state subject and they can adopt it uh, and they can adopt it. Uh, uh, and they can adopt it and other states can adopt the same by a similar resolution. So these are the grounds on which a centre can usually make laws on the state level. But otherwise, the usual legislative powers of the centre are only union list, concurrent list and the remaining parts in the residual list. So this was uh, the most important topics for your May 21st uh, for your prelims 2025 and I shall see you tomorrow in my next post. Until then, happy learning.